Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this week's blog, I'll be doing a review here of Portrait Pro, which is possibly the best and most exciting portrait software I've ever come across. We'll talk about this in just a bit. I also want to give you just a real fast peek at the next Photoshop Elements project. I finished my artwork for this thing. I need to still record the video, but you'll be seeing this in just a couple of days. Okay, let's go ahead and roll the opening title and get to it. We'll start off here with a fast peek at this upcoming project again. Just a couple of days from now, I'll be putting up the video on how to do this project. As you can see from the right-hand side here, this one's a very advanced project. A lot of stuff going on here. A lot of layers required on this. A lot of neat, tricky little techniques to go ahead and create this thing. I think you have a lot of fun with this. And of course, as you can see, just in time, hopefully, for Christmas. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. There we go. And we'll take a look at Portrait Pro. Let me first bring up the website for this. Here we go. Here's the Portrait Pro website. A little preview going on here with this thing kind of does there. And this is easily the best program I've ever seen for doing portrait retouching. It's just absolutely phenomenal. I'll come back here in just a little bit, but the price is not that bad. Let's take a quick look here at the additions. And the standard one, which I'll be showing here, is only $45. The Studio allows you to use this also as a plug-in for Photoshop and for Lightroom. So you get the plugins over here. Studio Max brings in batch processing. If you are a professional photographer doing a lot of headshots, I'd recommend going ahead and getting this. I mean, this down over here, again, if you like doing a lot of work with portraits, this program really is a must have. It's just phenomenal what this thing will do. Okay, now you see me say that. Let's now take a look at what this does. I'm just going to close this sample down here. This is one of the pictures I actually used this on a couple of my videos. I used it primarily on how to brighten the eyes up. Let's see what it can do with that. I'll just close this down. I'll then reopen that. Now I'm working right now in the sample or trial version. The difference between the trial version and the full version is just that you can't save or print from the trial version. Everything else is working. And of course this bit over here, left hand side, won't be here on the actual paid version. All right, let's go over here to File come down and I'll grab that same one again. First thing it does is it tries to find the face. Notice that it identifies the basic features of the face. You can then see if it's a female, male, or child. This will change the options you have over on the right hand side. Just click on female for this. It now goes through, figures everything out, and brings up the options. Also a lot of these are pop-ups. I'm just going to hide these temporarily right there. Gives you just a bit of an idea of what it's going to be doing. You can see here, here's the face. It found the face. Now, this is the one thing about this program. It just does just faces. It does faces and hair. But that's it. That's all it does. You can come in and do some changing of the backgrounds if you want to, but that's not really that great. I prefer using a regular program for that. You can't work with the outfits, for instance. But for doing the face, this is just amazing what this will do. So here's its guess, our best guess at the face. I'm going to click on this little button right here. This will show the before and after. There's a before and after. Just figure that whole thing out. Now notice that the face is distorted a little bit. It actually put in some camera correction. It thought that maybe there's a little bit of a fish eye happening on here. I'll show you what I like to do. Go to the presets over here, right hand side. Come down to the bottom. Preset right there is one named No Sculpt. That just gets rid of, of that camera distortion adjustment. So now we just see the makeup and the eyes in there. You saw how fast this thing was. I mean, it just made this practically right away. So before and after. I'm going to click here to view after only. A little larger size. Of course it says trial right there. They're not going to be putting a stencil on her head of course in the final version. Let's see how it can work on brightening up the eyes. Of course it did everything else as you can see here. Let's look at the brightening of the eyes. So I'll just drop down that zoom in there. And let's go back to our controls right here. Let's come down to eyes. And hide that. And I want to brighten the eyes up. 
Here's Bright and Iris right here. Notice that all of these have little additional drop downs, additional options. You can do the eyes separately on the Bright and the Iris. Let's just pull this up a little bit. There we go. Brighten up just the iris. Now I did that as a, a whole tutorial for how to brighten up the iris. And here we did it in just a second just by using a little slider control. It's that phenomenal. Let me show you some other great things that this thing can do, things you'd just be amazed at. But let's take a look at makeup. Here we are right here, makeup. We'll bring this up. I'll close that down. Let's say I wanted to work with the lipstick. I can change the color of the lipstick in here. I can bring in the amount of that. I can change the texture. This is the highlighting on the lips in there. I'll leave it at texture one. We can control how much of an adjustment that is. So I'm just kind of bringing in more texture here on the lips, on the lipstick itself. Let's say I wanted to work with the mascara. Close that again. Application, different levels of application. So I want to give her false eyelashes bold. Click on that. There we go. False eyelashes. That fast. Let's take a look at upper eye shadow in here. And again, I'll hide that little pop up. I can close those down permanently, by the way, if I wanted to. I'm just going to leave them popping up though for this discussion. So upper eye shadow. Let's just bring in more eye shadow. There we go. More eye shadow. That easy. Just come in and just bring in some more eye shadow. Let's say I wanted to work with the eyeliner on the lower lid of the eye. Come down here, eyeliner right here, lower, let's come in and we'll bring up the opacity here, and a little more right down in there, and then let's bring up our eyeliner effect, and it kind of darkens down the eyeliner. Let's say I wanted to bring in lower eye shadow. Again, I can adjust the lower eye shadow in there. It's a little more eye shadow. So you can come in and actually it finds everything in here. Eyebrow pencil. You know, just a little bit of an eyebrow pencil in there. And we're seeing some of that happening now. So it does a phenomenal job at working with and applying makeup. And it's not just that. We can do mouth and nose adjustments in here. Let's hide that. I've, I can get rid of this just by clicking that check mark. So we have mouth and nose adjustments, sharpen lip contrast, lip saturation. We can adjust the hair. We'll take a look at this in just a second on a different picture. With a regular picture in here, I can adjust the color balance, temperature and tint, exposure, brightness, vibrance, all that good fun stuff in there. It also can work in here with a background mask. You can use a background mask to change the background, although I found that this actually you can do a better job in a program like Photoshop or Elements. So you can maybe make your mask here, which works kind of like the Refine Edge tool, although a bit faster and easier, and then use the other program for a better background. You can do that as well. Skin lightening and coloration, you're going to love this one. Let's say I didn't really like the basic lighting in here. I can take this control here and actually move where the light is. Let's say I wanted a bit more light underneath the eyes and I wanted to brighten up the eyes a bit. Just move the light down below. If I wanted to darken down the eyes, move the light up above. You can see how it's kind of it's changing in there. The actual highlights. It's moving the highlights around. Of course, it can't change the actual lighting of the photograph, but it can accent the lighting in different areas. I can put more lighting on the left hand side or more lighting on the right hand side. Look at that. It's just amazing. Or darken down the look of the eyes by bringing the light higher up or brighten the eyes up by bringing the light down below a little more light under the chin in there just a phenomenal tool okay so you see how fast that is face sculpting this of course is your camera distortion right there so that's one quick look there it is with before and after you saw how easy that was to do before and after just phenomenal on this let's look at another picture I'm going to close this one down close there we are and have another one here I'll bring up. This is one that I did a video on, and this of course is female right there. I did a video on this on Dodge and Burn to increase a look of makeup and a bit of more of a dramatic look. It was a fair amount of work to get that Dodge and Burn just right. Here's the before, here's the after. Notice I'd also 
brought the chin in a little bit. So I'm going to switch this back to my preset in here and back down to no sculpt so that her face shape stays the same. So there we are. It already brought in some of that dodge and burn in there. Of course, it smoothed the skin out, did everything else, and did that dodge and burn already done for us. But skin lightening and coloration in here. Let's just get that out of the way. Other options in here. Left kick, right kick, smoky eyes, a pout. You can do skin color down in here, temperature. I can do an additional tan effect in here. All kinds of options on that. Let me just close that one down. Here's your skin smoothing options. We looked at our makeup already. Let's look at the hair in here. Let's say I wanted to change her hair color. So we'll go to the hair section. I'll bring this up. Hide that. There we are. And here's a bunch of hair samples. So I want to make her more blonde. There we go. More blonde. That fast. So I wanted to make her more of a redhead. So find kind of a nice redhead. Here we go. And there it is. There's your hair color change. That quick and easy. As you can see, it's just a phenomenal program on being able to do these kind of adjustments. You know, if you're working with a lot of portraits and you do your basic portrait retouching, th this is a must-have program. If I did a lot, of pro a lot of this kind of retouching on pictures, I'd go out and buy this thing in a second. It, it's that good of a program. Okay, let's take a look at one other example in here. Let's just come down and I'll grab my most difficult one I have. This is a photo retouch. I also did this as a photo retouch project and there's a lot of work. Now again, this program only does faces. It won't fix any of the stuff down here. It will do background, but not a very good job on the background either. But on the faces, phenomenal. Okay, this is a child. Notice I found both faces. We'll do this face over here. Click on continue. It'll go through and figure this whole thing out, make its adjustments in here. We'll then see how good we can do. Don't worry about the not responding. It's just working on figuring it out right now. And it takes it a minute or two. The more difficult the project is, the longer it takes. And there we go. So let's see how that did just on its first guess. Pretty good. Now it did a little distortion there on the face again. So I'll do my standard trick here, presets. And let's come down and see if we can get rid of that face sculpting. There it is. Hide that. I want original face shape. Okay. Notice how our options here are a little bit different for the children as compared to the adults. We have those different options. Let's go back to our main controls here and take a look at our skin smoothing options in here. We have imperfections, thin wrinkles, fine shadows, remove pores, remove shine, remove grease. All of these you can come in and then just Play with your slider control a little bit here and see how that works and see if it's going to be doing any improvement on your image. So let's go through and just kind of go back and forth on these. Now this one is helping quite a bit there. So I'll do the fine shadows a little bit. It's kind of removing that little scratch right there. That's going away. So we've got our thin wrinkles. Not doing much imperfections. Not too bad. Okay, let's close that down on skin smoothing. Let's come down to eyes. Close that. Let's, now the eyes are quite enough in here. Pupils are okay. Let's sharpen the eyes up a little bit. That helps. You can sharpen the eyebrows a little bit. Not much of an effect on the eyebrows, but I'll leave that alone. Check our iris in here little bit there. I'll leave that. That's good. So it's just a matter of going through and just adjusting these different sliders until you get things exactly the way you want. Let's take a look at our hair in here. Hide that again. And let's find something that's close to the actual existing hair color. Like that one. Maybe a little bit too bright. That's a bit better. Now notice how it's not fixing the the cracks over here in the hair. So it's not doing that kind of repair, but it's doing a great job here in the face. Let's now see what we did before and after. And I think that's a pretty good, pretty fast fix. So if I was doing 
photo retouch and, and this kind of photo restoration, I definitely go ahead and grab this thing to take care of the hardest part, which is the face, and then use Photoshop or Elements or whatever to do the rest of the work for the rest of the picture. Again, just an absolutely phenomenal program. Let me just bring up that other one one last time here. That's our first option right down here. Again, female. You can see how fast this thing runs. It's just phenomenal. And there it is. There's our before. There's our after. Do my one favorite trick, which is to go to the preset up here. This is the global preset. And down to no sculpt so you don't change the shape of the face. And there we go. It's already retouched. And that's all you really have to do in most cases. You can go through and retouch your pictures a whole bunch in just seconds. Save this as a preset. And if you get the version that has the batch processing, you can do a whole day's worth of work there just this quick. Okay, let's go back and take a look at the website now. Here we are. So they are there are three different versions. The standard version, everything we've seen is in the standard version. The main difference in here between the standard and the studio, I'll scroll down just a little bit, that's right down here. Works as a Photoshop plugin right there. Works as an external editor with the Aperture program. Works with Lightroom as an external editor. It can work with RAW form. If you're shooting RAW form, it can work with that or the DNG digital negative format. Works with both of those. Can work with your TIFFs and PNG files. So, you know, a little bit more advanced stuff in here. So, if you are more of a professional or a serious hobbyist and you do a lot of portrait work and you use Photoshop or Lightroom, especially Photoshop, I'd recommend going ahead and then getting the studio version, which is $69.95. Standard is fine for any everybody else. I mean, this is a, a great, and again, I'd say it's a must have program if you do. A lot of facial retouch work. Now if you're a professional studio, go for the Studio Max over here. The main difference on the Studio Max is it has the full batch mode down here. And that's going to help you again in a studio situation. But there it is. There's this just phenomenal program. And again it's the Portrait Pro. See it right up here? Portrait Pro. And you saw how fast this thing works and what a great job it does. I and mean, there's so much more this thing does. It's just absolutely phenomenal. I'm blown away by what this program can do. So there it is, one of my top picks, top recommendations for doing any kind of portrait retouch work. This is, is really just a great phenomenal program. Okay, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to click that like button on my channel. I want to make sure I get as many likes as possible, kind of increase my visibility on YouTube. Don't forget to share with your friends through social media. And also check out my complete training courses and there's a link right down there in the description. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.